How to better organize your classes by using namespaces. In the same way that you can't have two files in the same folder that have the same name, like this, you can't have two classes with the same name in a PHP script. But what if you need to have two or more classes with the same name? For example, you're creating a class that has the same name as an existing class. Or you're using a library that has classes with the same name as your own. Or you just have lots of classes and you want to organize them, just like organizing files in directories. The solution is to use namespaces. A namespace is like a folder or directory. It's defined with the namespace keyword at the top of the class file, followed by the name, which can be anything you like. And this allows you to have two or more classes that have the same name. For example, here we have a product class and it's in the app namespace. Namespaces can also be nested just like folders, separated with a backslash, and you can have as many levels as you like. So how do we use classes that are in namespaces? Well, just like you would refer to a file with its full path, like this, to use a namespaced class, you just add the namespace before the class name, like this. So what happens when using a class that's inside a namespace to the code inside the class? Well, this class, for example, is in the app namespace. If you try and use another class like this, you'll get an error. Why is this? This is because PHP looks for classes relative to the current namespace. So to refer to a class in another namespace, you need to give it a backslash. The class here, for example, datetime, doesn't have a namespace, so it's in what's called the root namespace. Any class that doesn't have a namespace defined is in this root namespace. What about using classes in namespaces when you have a very long namespace like this? If you're using this class, it can look quite messy to have to write out the whole namespace when creating an object of that class. By using the use statement, we can bring that class into the current namespace like this. So we can create a new object without writing the whole namespace. You can also add an alias to the imported class using as. So if you have two classes with the same name, you can use a different one for the namespaced class. So that's how you can use namespaces to organize your PHP classes.